Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMama.com. In this video, I want to show you how to drill effectively the multiplication tables. And it happens in three basic steps. We will first practice the skip counting pattern and memorize that. Then we practice the table itself and then the table backwards, so to speak. In each step, you can first practice half of the table and then the latter half and then put it all together. So, let's start. The skip counting pattern means that the student will memorize this list of numbers. So, they, for example, if they want to first start with the first half of it, this is for the table of 3, of course, you can just ask them to repeat 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, and then say that from memory. Uh, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, and also backwards from 18 to 3. They need to be able to say 18, 15, 12, 9, 6, 3, from memory. And, of course, students have to first understand the meaning of multiplication and have learned the concept of multiplication before starting the actual drills. Okay, and so when they have memorized this part, then they can work on this part and memorize this list of numbers, and then finally be able to say from memory this whole list of numbers, forwards and backwards. The skip counting pattern. And then it's time to go to the second step, where we actually have the table. And I recommend that you actually write the table like this for the student to see when we are practicing. So they can see the whole table, they can see the structure that's going to be in it. And it creates a pattern that then helps them memorize the actual answers. So when it is written like this, then you go through, make sure that the students understand that each one of these skip counting list numbers goes here. So there's 3, 6, 9, 12, etc. They go here. Once they understand that, then you can start drilling randomly. For example, maybe you want to start with the first half, up to 6 times 3. And so you drill randomly. The answers are not visible here, but you point to problems. For example, you point here, 3 times 3. 9, 5 times 3, the student says 15, 4 times 3, 12, 1 times 3, 6 times 3, like that. So that is a random drill, but they can see the structure of the table there, and they can notice that, okay, if 2 times 3 is 6, and then the teacher points to 6 times 3 next, that must be much more than that, right? Because it's further down. And then similarly practice the latter half of the table, pointing randomly to problems. 7 times 3? 10 times 3? 12 times 3? 8 times 3? Can you do that? 9 times 3? 7 times 3? 11 times 3? And so on. And then lastly, practice the whole table. Let's do a little bit of that. Can you do it? 3 times 3 is? 6 times 3? 9 times 3? 7 times 3? 12 times 3, 4 times 3, etc, etc. Once students have mastered this, then you can either go to step 3, or you could go to drill these same facts with flashcards and games, without them seeing the structure of the table. Okay, let's go now to the last step, which is the table backwards. In this step, students learn and memorize, they learn to associate the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, with the actual answers from the skip counting list. Okay? And this, of course, prepares them for division, for basic division facts. They actually learn the basic division facts right here. And uh, once they understand that 1, 2, 3, etc. go here, then again it's time to drill randomly, but you can first do the first half of it, up to 6 times 3. How many times 3 is 15? How many times 3 is 6? How many times 3 is 12? How many times 3 is 18? And so on. And then practice the latter half. How many times 3 is 27? How many times 3 is 36? How many times 3 is 21? And so on. And lastly, the whole table. How many times 3 is 12? How many times 3 is 27? How many times 3 is 36? How many times 3 is 15? Or maybe you just point to it and don't say anything.
Okay. And I also recommend that you work with all this, if you can, twice a day with the students. And that is because of how our brain works. Our brain actually memorizes things better if you can reinforce the learning second time during the same day, instead of waiting maybe 24 hours before you come back to the same topic. Then, of course, this needs repeated for each multiplication table. And after they have seen, they have done this structured drill, I call it, after they have gone through structured drill for the tables and for the table backwards, then they are very ready for flashcards and for all kinds of multiplication games to reinforce the facts.